Brian Urlacher, the uh, Hall of Famer, was with the Bears for 13 seasons, former Defensive Player of the Year, joining us on behalf of Ludex, the fastest and most accurate sports and trading card scanner app. You take a picture, identify, get the card's value instantly, and you can download it for free. You spell it L-U-D-E-X. Great to see you again. We talked about this, I don't know if it was last year, trying to figure out what you have yep. in your attic. You know, when mom says, I'm going to throw those out, know they're valuable. Now we yep. have an op- opportunity to figure out how valuable. Was, your show is the reason why they did the app. They heard it on your show, so they made the app up. Seriously. Kidding. No. They <laughs> they heard someone. I think, was it Frisky talking about it on your show one day? No, no, no. Uh, it some, had to be somebody intelligent. So it was ah. you then. Definitely you then. Yeah. So I guess they heard you talking about it, and they were in the process of coming up with the app, and then you oh, guys talked about oh, it. Oh, did you yeah. hear that, Paulie? They were in the process of yeah, coming up with the app. They didn't steal your idea. We could, we could share, Bri. Yeah. <laughs> we could share? Perfect. <laughs> you we wouldn't be on. the first to steal something from oh, this Oh, I'm sure. Show, All of your viewers? Yes. Yes. You have our blessing there. Thank you. Um, when's the last time you hit somebody? That guy right there. Paulie? Paulie. That, I mean. That's a while ago at the 2018, Super Bowl. right? Was that in Atlanta? Yeah. Yeah. I have, I mean, I don't. I pulled my hamstring playing softball about seven years ago. <laughs> That's the last time I ran, and I wasn't full speed. Uh, now I just ride my bike. That's it. Yeah, but do you miss that contact? I don't miss contact. No, hell no. I mean, gosh, you, I mean, well, the game's different now. There's not as much contact as there was back when I played, but um, I don't miss getting hit. Now, I, my son plays high school football, so I get a chance to watch him play and see how he feels after a game, so I'm good. Yeah, but I would think you would just want that feeling of hitting somebody, not being hit. Yeah. But hitting somebody. Yeah, I, guess, I mean, I guess I don't think about it like that because there's repercussions to both sides of it. You know, if you're hitting someone, you're still going to take a little bit of the brunt. But, yeah, I don't miss it at all, Dan. I don't, I don't, um, I don't cover nothing. What happened to football? Safe. You know, I, I mean, the rules had to change, right? They want players, well, they get, they want the quarterbacks to play longer. They want the receivers to play longer. Running backs they don't care about. Uh, defensive players they don't care about. But they want the QBs and receivers to play longer, right? Okay, but... And score points. Was it, yeah, more importantly, (laughs) was it starting to change while you were still playing? Did you get a sense that they were starting to protect the quarterback even more so? You know, I I think it's always, it's been evolving since my, since I came into the league in 2000. Um, But yeah, I mean, they got to protect them. You know, that's where all the money's spent. That's where the the fans want to see points scored, as you, as you said earlier. But yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. It's just, it's been evolving over the last 15, 20 years. And now it's just, it is what it is now. I can't stand it when the guys get thrown to the quarterback. From an offensive lineman, they call roughing the passer for a guy hitting him in the knee, but he got thrown to the quarterback. How would you have to change your game if you played now? I don't think I would. You know, maybe maybe some <laughs> some uh, launch angles. You know, when you're, you want to go up to, to hit a guy, but those things can, you can't change in a split second. You know, so those are going to happen, and they still happen. But I don't think my game would would have to change much at all. Would you be a linebacker or an edge rusher? I can't rush the edge. I'd be a linebacker. I don't like dealing with offensive tackles. Those guys are really big. So Micah Parsons. I heard you talking earlier. Um, Bosa, those guys are definitely edge rushers. Micah can do anything. He, he could probably play safety, but um, n- now they're interchangeable. They just get up there and, and beat up the linemen. But uh, Ray Lewis wouldn't be an edge rusher. No, Ray, Ray was a middle linebacker for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, my body type's different than Ray's, right? Mine's six. I could body type wise, I could probably play defensive end or, or edge rusher, but I, those guys are just different, like mentally. I don't think I have that mentality. Who would you like to face now, quarterback wise? Oh, here we go. Um, let's see. Are you, t- are you trying to make like someone look good, like guys that we could actually have success against? Yeah, like oh. who who would you look forward to facing, and then oh, maybe well it's a different answer. Of- that's kind of a setup, though, because then you're going to say someone's not playing very well. Okay, well you might. All right, Mac Jones. You'd like to play <laughs> Mac Mac Jones. Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I like Mac, but he's having a tough year. Okay, but what would you do with somebody like that who doesn't have great weapons and? Yeah. So Honestly, how do you make him yeah, play into well, your we would, hands? We would make them throw the football. Um, but all we ran was cover two no matter what. Though Lovey put us in a seven-man front. Our defensive line controlled the line of scrimmage, and we just run to the football. But pass-wise, I mean, it would be hard to not play man, I think, versus them because we think our DBs are better than their receivers. How would you do against Mahomes? Ooh, he's good. Um, that, that, <laughs> well, we'd run, we'd run cover two. You know, you got Kelsey in there as well. We would run cover two. I'd probably – 75 80 percent of the time against them we wouldn't we want to be manned up because he's going to create separation for his receivers but but are you are tough. you responsible for kelsey certain plays i would be yeah we're in cover two there's a lot of times i would be but it's never a man situation unless he's going down the middle then i'd be locked up on him but uh for the most part we'd be just play cover two that's why we're so good because we can play cover two in every situation best tight end you ever face 
ever faced. Probably Tony, Tony Gonzalez. What was about him that made him? He, could, he was big. He could run. He could catch. Um, he was physical. Uh, you know, also as good as uh, Antonio Gates was really good as well there in San Diego. Uh, big guy. Big guy. Yeah, basketball player playing football. He was he was solid. They're, they're, they're all good, though. You know, everyone, you get, there's a reason they're in the NFL. They're really good football players. Is there a, a, a tackle that you missed going after a quarterback that you think about? Not No, not the Brady one. <laughs> oh, the, okay, the, the, another one. Uh, well, well, that was embarrassing. Well, it, look. Brady doesn't get to do for how fast he is. Y'all, people don't understand. He's I, not fast. I, I put him like Vic, Lamar Jackson. <laughs> like he's in that he's in he's in that category. People don't understand. Now that's the one because I'll tell you why that one pisses me off because it was <laughs> it was third and five and they were or maybe third and six and they were in the red zone and they got the first down. They scored a touchdown a couple plays later. So that's the one that hurt me because if I tackle them, it's either fourth and five or whatever, and they're probably kicking a field goal. We lose the game 17-13. Boom. There you go. Yeah, thanks for bringing it in. No, I'm t- uh, Every I, time I come on your show, I, you got these great little stats for me, your I, little facts. I, I appreciate just, it. Brady has no mobility. I, I disagree. He has no moves. Oh, he had some moves that's that his, day. He had a, some moves that day. That's his career highlight run. Good job. I mean, I made Brady's. We're on the same draft class, you know. It's nice. I, could, uh, I don't think he needs my help being on, on any highlight films, but yeah, it was a good run, man. I missed a tackle. But is there one that you were going in for a sack that you think about? I don't know. I mean, sacks are like bonuses, right? You're supposed, you know, you're supposed to make the play, but um, I'm sure there's plenty I missed. But there's really, I don't. Do you have one in mind? Is that what you're, no, no, no. Oh, no. Usually, you have something you're gonna show. No, 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 no. I was like, hey, what about this one though? Um, no, I uh, not, not off the top of my head. I can't think of any that I missed sack wise. Uh, I know I missed one in the playoffs versus Jake Delhomme, but Wale got him, so it didn't matter. Um, the ones that make me mad, the ones that cost our team. Like that one was third and five. Like I said, he got the first down. They ended up scoring a touchdown. But um, there's plenty of times I missed tackles and got ran over, though, if you want to bring those up, too. You want to talk about some of those? I'm not going to bring up Jerome Bettis. Oh, what about Brandon <laughs> Jacobs? And the, Brandon Jacob, Jacobs just trucked me in the preseason one year. Uh, there's, I'm sure there's other times, too, I've been ran over. I, I got ran over in eighth grade really bad on a punt return. <laughs> <laughs> and we have that highlights video? of that. that right? <laughs> Brandon Jacobs. Oh, man. When we saw him in person, mm-hmm. and I go, he looked like he could have been O.C. Umiura or Michael Strahan. He a, might have been bigger than Michael Strahan. That's a big man right there. He had to be 265 or 270 running however fast he ran, and I tried to hit him full speed in the chest <laughs> uh, coming sideways, and it didn't work out good for me. Uh, Brian Urlacher joining us uh, in studio, joining us on behalf of the fastest and most accurate sports and trading card scanner app. It's called Ludex. 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 I say Lude sometimes through those. Lude sounds cool. Yeah. Yeah, go, Not it's, Lud. It's Ludex. No. It's Lou. <laughs> I like that too. Ludex. L-U-D-E-X. Take a picture, identify, get card values instantly download for free. If the Bears have the number one pick, they should. Oh, man. Uh, it's kind of early to tell, but I mean, it'd be hard to pass up on. Well, they just traded last year, right? They may have the number one and two pick from what I hear. Yeah. And things keep progressing the way they are, or I guess regressing the way they are. Um, I think you got to take Caleb Williams. Okay. Right? Yeah. I mean, he, the way he's played so far, his numbers, his athletic ability, the way he throws the football. Uh, but it depends on how they value Justin as well. You know, he's, the last couple of games, it looks a little different. Okay. Right? Okay. Right? Are a little you, different. Are you, have you changed <clears throat> your opinion? Well, he has a great receiver in DJ Moore. Yeah. And they're, they're getting him the football. I thought he could have had four or five touchdowns last week, okay. DJ. Yeah. He was playing against a high school kid. Did you see what he was doing to that corner? <laughs> I mean, that way he wasn't. I'm just saying DJ's a man. Uh, Would you check and see if that DB yeah. was, was a high school he, kid? Was he uh, legal? Yeah. Like, was he over 18? Yeah. I mean, he was uh, just saying DJ was is a man. You know, he he was having his way with that guy. But, yeah, I mean, but then you can, I'm sure there's some linemen out there as well. If they have the, the, those two top two or other three picks or whatever, you got to well, get Well, Marvin Harrison, the Ohio State awesome. wide receiver. You got DJ good. Moore, though. You got a guy. You got a number no, one. No, you can yeah. never have enough receivers. True. Very true. They got him. Um yeah, I would, I would, but you got to go. I think D line, even if there's a pass rusher right there as well. I don't know. I hey, like what Houston did last year, by the way, taking CJ Stroud and, and Anderson. Yeah, that was awesome. They're both playing great this year as well. Is there any bad blood left over with anybody you played against? That if you Ooh. saw somebody? No, I don't think so. I, mean, I didn't really have bad blood when I played with the guys either. You know, you you know you you're mad. You're not mad, but when you're playing, you're competing, and then when you see them, you, you know you see all these guys when they see each other. They're all buddy buddies. So it's the same way, I guess. You're, you're friends with them. Uh, it's good to see him again. I just saw, I was just at a signing in Chicago last week, and I saw all the o- older guys than me: Marcus Allen, Charles Haley, 
Uh, just um, well, there's a bunch of old bears there. Richard Dent was there. Just nice to see. They're a little bit older than me, but it's nice to see those guys and, and kind of just listen to them talk and tell stories. Charles Haley is hilarious. He is crazy and hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Well, he has some good stories, and he'll tell you all about them too. <laughs> He's great. I mean, he, he got me cornered for a little bit. I saw Zach Thomas about. Zach's my guy. Zach got in the hall this year. Yep. Finally. Finally, um, he's still not very tall, but he got in. He got in. <laughs> <laughs> he deserved it. That's one guy that I was pushing for for a, for a lot of years. So I'm glad he got in. Why is it we're not paying the linebacker? Feels like the Ooh. line linebacker and running back. Running well, they're paying linebackers more than they are running backs. I feel like they are. Um, but yeah. these, you had to have a middle linebacker and a running back. Back in the day, yeah. you're right. Yeah, I I don't know why they're devaluing running backs. I understand because there's a lot of guys that are good at running back, but McCaffrey's making a lot of money and he's earning it. Um, it's just the game's changing, right? They, well, now the running game is these little flare screens or little pop passes they throw. Um, they'll find a way to get three or four yards on first or sec- second down and get it in third and short. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, at this age, trying to come back from that injury. He'll do it. He's awesome. I mean, in, in my opinion, it, it was Mahomes and him as the two, two of the best three quarterbacks in the NFL uh, last year. Pretty much any, any year Aaron's healthy, he's one of the best, in my opinion. But he'll come back. You know, I think now he's more determined with the way the season went for him and all the hype that was surrounding the Jets. And look at that defense. They're not, I don't think they're going to regress anytime soon. They're good. You know, I would want to play quarterback for that team. But, you know, people talk about Mahomes, and I say Rodgers was Mahomes before Mahomes, in my opinion. Agreed. I mean, you look at the way the, the way he maneuvers in the pocket. You know, he moves. He doesn't really maneuver in the pocket to run. He moves up and down to get separation for his receivers and kind of change rush angles for the D linemen. But, his accuracy is unbelievable. He doesn't make the, the crazy plays that Mahomes makes, you know, the running around and throwing behind his back or whatever he does. But accuracy-wise, Aaron's he's got to be top two or three of all time, I would think. But what's it like to be a defensive player when the guy across from you knows what you're going to do? Yeah. Hopefully we make a play. You know, because you know, they're all the same. All the quarterbacks know, most of them, I'm sorry, know what defense you're in before they snap the ball. And Aaron was the best. And he would undress our defense, do all the dummy calls, the leg snap thing, the fake leg thing, and all this. And then all of a sudden, the ball's not snapped, and you're you're showing your hand in defense. We were lucky enough on defense where we could change our call as well. When we saw Aaron change, we could change as well. We had Most most of our guys were pretty smart, so we could be on the same page. But they know what you're doing. You know, they're smart, so hopefully you make a play on defense and, and get off the field. But you're so close to that player, and you might not even get your hand on Aaron Rodgers. So you're just staring at him. Yep. You can, did you say anything? No. Well, we had we had some dummy calls. I won't repeat them on your show. But we had a lot of good dummy calls that we would thought fake him out. You know, because we they know our checks. They know we play him twice a year, so he knew exactly. Now, why we can't you say them? Well, they're not very nice words. Some of them aren't nice words. Oh. Yeah. So oh. you'd yell out these words. These words that were some of them were some of them were dummies, and some of them were actual checks, and we had to Aaron had to figure out which was which. You know. But did Rogers know what you were doing? You know, yeah, he knew, <laughs> they all know. You know, it's it's, it's uh, when our defense was simple. You know, it was either cover two man or his own blitz. It wasn't that, it wasn't that hard to figure out. We just uh, we had good players. When you talk about Bears linebackers, obviously uh, with yourself and Mike Singletary and the passing of Dick Dick Butkus, yeah, that hurt. Were you compared at all to Butkus at any point? The media, you know, obviously the media in Chicago. When I f- so I didn't know much about football in Chicago before I got there. I knew Walter Payton and the '85 Bears, but I didn't know much about football before that. Um, but when you when I moved to middle linebacker, the media starts comparing not comparing you, but bringing up the tradition. You know, Bill George, Dick Butkus, Mike Singletary, and I was young. I didn't. I was like, yeah, those guys are great, but I'm I'm 22 years old. I don't know what you know what am I what I'm going to be. And obviously now, as it gone on, we're all in the Hall of Fame, but. I always appreciated Buckus for he always called it like he saw it, didn't pull any punches. You know, he was very, whenever I, when I was around him, he was always so witty and a major smartass. I love that. Like he just said what he was thinking all the time. Uh, I think my second or third year, I helped the guy up off the ground after I tackled him. Oh, oh, bad move by me. He, he was in the newspaper or the media next week saying that that's not okay. You know, you, you're not supposed to help a guy up after you tackle him. But in my mind, I was like, well, it's not like I'm not going to want to tackle him the next play. So I'll tackle him, help him up, hit him the next play, help him up. It didn't matter to me. You know, it wasn't a big deal. But Dick Buckus did not like that. I remember Jim Brown, whenever he'd get hit, he made it seem like you, you, you crushed him. Me. No. Oh, the opposite. Like when he would get up, he'd get up, he'd be so slow getting up. Okay. And you'd think, oh, okay. Like, man, they mm-hmm. got him. And then they give him the ball. And yeah. Like, <laughs> it's just. It's, it's different, man. Those, those guys are different, obviously. But yeah, Dick Buckus. The world is definitely a softer place without Dick Buckus in it. <laughs> that, dude, <laughs> that dude was tough, man. He uh, he couldn't get away with anything he got away with back in the day when he right in today's game. And your son's going to Notre Dame. He is. Yeah, he came to Notre Dame in uh, in June. Going to go play for Marcus there in Notre Dame. I'm excited about that. He'll go 
So he graduates high school in December. He's going to be an early enrollee and, and go in January. And what position? Plays free safety. So just like you. Back in high school, he's, yeah, back in high school. He's a little bit more athletic than I was, believe it or not. Um, yeah, but he's you fast. returned punch, didn't you? In high school, yeah. But the, the, my level of high school is different than his level of high school. I played in New Mexico. He plays in a very good <clears throat> conference in Arizona. So they got big boy football there. I wasn't big boy, big boy football in high school. Would you <clears> – so the, you, you would have gotten NIL money – Coming out of high school. I mean, I've gotten any. You know, how about that, by the way? Isn't that amazing how much these guys are getting? Is your son going to get NIL money? At Notre Dame, they do something for the, for every player on the team. So, yes, they will do that. And then there's like a, I don't know how it works, but I guess you can earn more money. If you play good, I think you make a lot of money. Is that correct? Basically? Uh, you well, have a chance to make, at certain schools, if you play well, you have a chance to make quite a bit of money. I know the quarterback for Notre Dame does pretty well, Sam. I know he does pretty well. Uh, one of their corners is a true freshman, made over half a million bucks, I think, doing NIL. So, yeah. What does Sam make? I heard it's over the a uh, million dollars. I heard. But how do you know? Is there like a sheet that says this is how much this guy makes? Well, I think you have to report it, though. Check your – go to the IRS. <laughs> That's how you know what to really make. Well, you got to check Sam <laughs> yeah. Hartman's tax check return. Check his tax returns, and we'll see how much he made in the NIL money. But he's a good player. Yeah. That, he had a tough week last yeah, week. Yeah, ah, there's sometimes I have. On the road, Louisville, they're good, you know. Top 25 now. He's 24. I know. It's awesome. Good looking kid, too. I'm a big fan of Sam Hartman. He's yeah, but they, oh, you know, we've had it. We had him on after uh, Notre Dame played uh, Navy in Dublin. Well, that was a cool game. Yeah. You were there? Yeah. 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 Will Ferrell went with us. Nice. Yeah. I like, he's funny. Hey, you're a movie star. Yeah, I am. Every Adam Sandler movie, I can expect to see you in it. Yeah. That's no true. doubt. Want me to get you in one? I'm good. I, I like to watch. I appreciate it. I'm a big movie buff watching guy, but I'm not. A, I'm not a very good actor. Have you been on a TV show? I was on According to Jim back in the day, like 2001. Remember that Jim so Belushi? Jim Belushi. Yeah, it was Entourage. I'm sure you were on Entourage multiple times, right? No. 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 Oh wow, it surprises me. I thought for sure that you'd, one, you'd that, be on there. That one hurt a little bit. That you didn't make the appearance. Yeah. As yourself. But here's the thing. I don't like playing me, oh. and I don't want to be on a show that I might screw up that I like. Gotcha. How could you screw up? Let's keep redoing it. Until no, no, you get no. It right. It's just you know, some some people shouldn't be on shows doing cameos. Gotcha. That's that's all. Okay, I get it. Yeah. Like the Simpsons, they they're writing me into yeah. an episode, <laughs> and I I I'm just playing an announcer. Like Homer oh. does a rock skipping uh, contest, and I'm the because it's your voice because it's yeah, great. That, I get it. That's all. Very I need. nice. That's all. Well, people yeah. know it's you because of your voice. Do you want to? We have a football field out there. Oh. Do you want to hit Pauly again? Pauly, do you want oh. some more? <laughs> I thought we were both retired. Uh, oh, you! I know you said you're retired. I haven't hit anybody since that day, so I, I'm uh, I'm good if you're good. I just as don't a, want as you to know. Blow, well, as a no. Well, you could you could give us maybe a technique or something. We could just do a let's just do a head slap. <laughs> Can we do that? That was a great technique, by the way. He was the head slap was good. I know. Don't you wish you could do that again? I do. It, it, it probably hurt my hand, but it feels like it's a great move. Well, you could bandage your hand up like Deacon Jones did and just... Or all the forearm pads and obviously you wear gloves, but you could just knock the crap out of somebody. It'd be great. All right, let me give you uh, the yep. plug again. Uh, Brian joining us on behalf of Ludix, L-U-D-E-X, the fastest, most accurate sports and trading card scanner app. They took the idea from us, so you know it's a good <laughs> idea. Take a picture, identify, and get the card values instantly. Download for free. He's Brian Erlocker. Thank you for joining us, Brian. Thanks for having me. Back Appreciate after it. this.